Hello, and thank you for joining us for this follow-up presentation on the Alfresco Activity BPMS. Now, as you remember from last time, I had done a demonstration on the hardware request workflow right here. Okay, we built this piece out. We talked through how it works and touched on a lot of features. And I had mentioned that I would touch base on the business analytics side of the solution. So what we're going to do today is touch just on that. So I've executed a number of workflows to help us with this, but let's dive into the business analytics side. So I'll click here on analytics and what you're going to be presented with is process definition overview, process instance overview, task overview, and task service level agreement. So we're going to touch base of course on task overview. Now process definition, we're going to select our hardware request process definition. Now from a date perspective you'll notice this defaults to today. So I'm going to change this date and we're going to put a custom range in. And this range will be from March 1st to March 31st. Okay. Now you'll notice I get some nice useful information. Now again, this is reporting on the time period we selected for the hardware request process model. These are the different tasks that were completed so far in that process model. Now if you'll see if I click on any one, or I should say highlight over, you'll see equipment requests. There are nine that were completed. Inventory control three, order equipment five, cost review five, and of course approve request seven. All right. Now if I scroll down, You'll see a nice little histogram and, of course, a little chart as well. We're going to touch base on the chart first, make it easier to explain the histogram once we go through the chart. Now, in the chart, you'll see detailed task statistics. The idea is you have got all of the tasks where they're completed in our particular process model, the one we've selected earlier, okay, for the given date range we've entered. So you'll notice equipment requests, there were nine. Some of five hours were taken, minimum of 0.05 hours per task, and the max duration was one hour. So in other words, there was a task that took 0.05, and there was a task that took one hour. The average, okay, of all nine of the tasks completed for equipment request was 0.6, standard deviation of 0.45. So it gives you a flavor with the standard deviation where we are in terms of these being outliers, okay, to your average. Now, what's nice is, of course, these are all of the tasks that were completed. If I click on, say, Equipment Request, I'm now presented with the individual people that worked on that task. So here's Adam Storch. He did five, some of an hour, his min, his max, his average, and the standard deviation. Same thing for Jason. All right. If I click on Order Equipment, same premise. I've got three people here that did these tasks. Again, counts, sums, and so forth. Now, to get a better handle on the diagram up here, or should I say the histogram up here, all right, this one refers to the first task, equipment request, and you can see in blue is the average, okay, which is our 0.6. The light blue is our minimum, and that is the 0.05. And then our tan or gold color is the maximum. And that, of course, is the one hour. So it gives you a flavor looking at the different completed tasks, how long they take to each other. Okay, So I know that these three are pretty much track at the same time. These are a lot quicker. For whatever reason, that would be part of your investigation. But what you're able to easily see is what is taking so short or so long on any given task. And of course, drilling down to those people. Now, this is the kind of report that perhaps you want to take a look at all the time. So let's scroll back up. Now, remember, I entered a date range here. What I can do is I can save this report for later use. So I'll give it a name. So here's my name. And the idea is I will go off and save it. So now you'll notice right up at the top, equipment request for March. So of course, I ran this on the 2nd, all right, and I have yesterday's results. Now, as the days go on for March, instead of having to worry about redoing the criteria, if I go back out just to show you, and I go back in to analytics, Here's my report. I just click on it. It automatically assigns the criteria and tells me what's going on. So basically, one click away, I know how we're doing in terms of what's being completed, what those times are, and of course, keeping an eye on everybody. Great little BI tool to help manage productivity as well as be able to easily get access to that information. 
Another feature of business analytics I want to show you is the task service level agreement. Now the idea here is we want to keep an eye on certain tasks to make sure we're hitting the time frames for completion that we have promised. So let's go to process definition. Let's choose our hardware request one. Now the task I'm most concerned about is that equipment request task. That's what we really got to keep an eye on. Let's put a date range in there. Custom range of say March 1st to the 31st. We'll apply that. And the concern I have is that these tasks, or this particular task, I should say, should take no more than 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm selecting minutes. And what we'll notice is, hmm, not good on some of these. We've got four that were not done appropriately, okay, and five that were done appropriately. This is telling us that out of nine tasks, four were not done right. And who is our culprit? Our friend Jason Jolly, which if you know Jason is hard to imagine. But nonetheless, in this example, it looks like Jason is not getting his tasks done in the appropriate time. Now, we want to keep an eye on this on a regular basis because we want to make sure that we're hitting these SLAs. So let's go off and hit Save Report. And again, we're going to say SLA for Equipment requests. And of course for March 2015. And I'll hit save. And now I've got my SLA for equipment requests for March 2015 as well. Hope you enjoyed this presentation of the Alfresco Activity BPM Analytics module. I'm hoping this gives you a nice overview of things you can do, what you can take advantage of, and how you can take this product to the next level. We appreciate your time, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care now. Bye-bye.